Hello everyone, this is John Fawcett. I'm the Warning Coordination Meteorologist for the National Weather Service Office serving southern New Mexico and far west Texas and this briefing is dealing with a resurgence in the monsoon flow plus Hurricane Odile's moisture that is uh, injected into that flow and it's basically affecting us uh, from tomorrow, Tuesday, into Friday and the potential impacts are many road closures and washouts initially west of the Rio Granite current thinking that is uh, and then spreading east with time and uh, in MDOT New Mexico Department of Transportation is concerned about the frontage roads that traffic is diverted onto near construction along Interstate 10 uh, that tends to flood a little more easily than the actual interstate itself so if you folks have to be concerned about that if there's a lot of heavy rain going on in that location and then flooded buildings those usual locations including Vado, Socorro, Texas where there's very poor drainage and uh, delayed repairs of two roads that already washed out last Friday at least in a section or two one of those is the road that goes over uh, Emory Pass, New Mexico 152, and the other goes between Hillsboro and Highway 26, south of Hillsboro. Well, the repairs of those roads may be delayed with all that will be going on this week, potentially at least. And then uh, there is a big concert Friday evening. The setup for that concert, which has already begun, the setup during this week could be interrupted or really affected if we get a good amount of heavy rain. Flooding below the burn scars, uh, that's a predicted impact, especially the silver fire burn scar. And then also, if several inches of rain were to occur over the Sacramento Mountains, you have to think about water topping the spillways at Lake Mescalero and Silver Lake. The major rain event could begin as early as overnight tonight as the uh, leading edge of the deeper moisture with that monsoon surge reaches the international border and spreads northward. Uh, the impact should be west of the Rio Grande initially. We'll keep our eyes on that. Uh, the actual moisture connected with uh, Hurricane Odile down there in the Baja California, some of it has been injected up into that moisture surge. The rest of it uh, remains uh, closer to Odile itself. Uh, the evolution of this event, this is according to our best thinking right now and it could change but as of tomorrow morning you've got that initial wave of moisture and impulses moving up into our area especially west of the Rio Grande but that doesn't mean it's not going to be uh, producing any heavy rainfall east of the Rio Grande it's just more likely to the west uh, meanwhile Odile moves up along the peninsula of Baja California and then Wednesday morning the moisture spreads out over our area and uh, becomes a little more intense and then you get into Thursday morning and the remnants of Ho Hurricane Odile have now moved up into extreme southern Arizona. Uh, sometimes you get a little bit of a dry slotting uh, on the southwest side of uh, tropical systems and that could cause a little break in our precipitation in our area except maybe the far west uh, Wednesday afternoon evening into Thursday morning we're not going to count on that for sure but it is a possibility then with the remnants of Odile moving to our north we could get another batch of heavy rain um, Thursday evening into Friday morning and then the on the right there Friday evening um, it looks like most of the moisture will be swept out of here behind the remnants of Odile and the monsoon flow pushed a little further to the east. But there are differences in the model solutions. The one we're going with is on the left. Uh, most people seem to be going along with that uh, model solution and we just described that evolution. But on the right is another computer model that takes Odile and instead of sweeping um, Odile up along the Baja Peninsula and eventually uh, wasting away and into Arizona, turns it back out to sea. And 
that probably wouldn't get rid of Odile for a while. Uh, well, we're not going with that one at this time. Uh, the model consensus overall is along the Baja Peninsula, then curving uh, across the northern Gulf of California into Arizona and up into northwestern Mexico. And uh, there's even uncertainty among those uh, hurricane models as well. But uh, overall, this should be the picture. And as was pointed out during an earlier webinar, the type of curvature you're seeing uh, where it curves uh, t uh, towards the uh, right, prolongs the precipitation east of that curve. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, and then here's the Weather Prediction Center's outlook. Uh, they're really going west of the Rio Grande initially. You start out with today, that's really tonight, maybe a little precipitation uh, up from the south, but uh, increasing on Tuesday and spreading a little further east and becoming more yet on Wednesday, uh, but they're still concentrating it west of the Rio Grande. If you take tonight through Wednesday and combine it, you've got the graphic on the lower left, and that's a good amount of precipitation west of the Rio Grande. You add some more on Thursday and Friday, and then uh, your five-day total Pretty impressive along the Continental Divide, Arizona border, out into the Gila, and not too shabby spreading out towards El Paso as well. Uh, but this is just one prediction. It's the Weather Prediction Center's outlook, and it could change as we've seen happen in the past. Uncertainties, a lot of them. Timing, how much rain with the initial surge from the south tonight? Uh, the location of the swath of moisture, how far east will it go? That's an uncertainty. And then the remnants of Odile, uh, later Thursday and Friday, a slight difference in path means a huge difference in rainfall. I've seen it, uh, a five inch difference over uh, less than 100 miles. So we're really uh, going to have to be watching that each day. And then the computer model differences you already saw. that. That lowers our confidence. We're about to issue a flash flood watch this uh, Monday afternoon for west, uh, and it would be valid west of the Rio Grande from 6 a.m. tomorrow, Tuesday morning to midnight um, Thursday. Then uh, the remainder of the area, all of the area, 6 a.m. Wednesday to midnight Thursday. And we should be issuing flash flood warnings initially the western portion, then elsewhere, especially the Sacramento Mountains if they. Uh, if they get uh, more than a couple of inches of rain. And then something that was alluded to during the webinar, at higher elevations when you're closer to the remnants of a hurricane, even though it's wasted away, up at the higher elevations you could get some pretty strong uh, wind gusts. So that's something we're keeping an eye on. So summarizing the impacts, road closures and washouts, uh, flooded buildings in a few poorly drained locations, the preparation for outdoor concert complicated by rain and then flooding below the burn scars and those lakes up there in the sacks. So urge, uh, we urge you strongly to monitor our uh, unfolding weather scenario, emergency managers especially. Uh, keep up with our latest forecast statements. You have our NWS chat room and then everybody in general, our uh, social media that you see before you on the screen and then our web page. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time and please stay safe.